So I'm looking through this survey from the Public Religion Research Institute the other day, and we're going to talk about the results and shit in the lead story this week. That's not what this is about. But something occurred to me while I was writing that that started as an aside in the story, and then it turned into a Facebook post, and it just it grew into a diatribe the more I thought about it. See, if you look at a lot of religious demographic data, and who doesn't, you'll notice that demographers, generally speaking, break religions down by race. Like at, at the most basic level, you might just see Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, etc. But if you start breaking it down by denomination, invariably, you'll start getting categories like black Protestant, Hispanic Catholic, and white evangelical. Hell, you could make a solid argument that the very term evangelical is just a stand-in for white Protestant from the days before demographers started to realize that white guy isn't the default human. And it's easy to look at this and think, yeah, man, those demographers sure are racist, but that's not the point. And that's not the case. They're just doing the job the best they can. Their job is to craft meaningful categories that give us insight into groups of people. And to do that, you know, with regards to religion, you kind of have to parse out the racial differences because Hispanic Catholic is, for all intents and purposes, a different religion than white Catholic. And, and nobody who's been to both predominantly white and predominantly black Baptist churches, for example, would even guess that those were the same denomination. I'm not faulting statisticians here. I'm faulting religion. You know, the institution that justifies its existence by saying it unifies people and yet remains the most segregated institution in the fucking country. Think about what that means when the country you're talking about is America. Right. I grew up in the 90s in rural South Georgia in the town where I went to high school. There was a de facto white and black grocery store and church congregations are racist compared to that. I mean, you know, when industry groups did statistics about grocery store purchases back then, they didn't feel the need to all but universally denote the predominant race of each store's customers. But with religion, you can't really get useful numbers until you make that distinction. And that bears emphasis, especially when you consider the way they use the church's unifying mission to justify their historical colonialism and their modern day missionary work, right? They're, they're not going out there because our culture is better and we need to browbeat those different people into being superior like us. It's because they're sharing the gospel of Christ's redemption and we want to welcome them into the loving arms of Jesus. I, I guess they must mention that it's a separate but equal Jesus somewhere in the fine print. I haven't read that far, but of course, this is inevitable. We talk a lot about how religion is a haven for bigotry because every new attack on the LGBTQ community is cloaked in religious language, but it's also an engine of bigotry. And that's not just an unfortunate byproduct of the way it's being employed by modern Christians. That's what religion itself was built to do. It was built to otherize. And that's why it almost can't help but break down along the dominant lines of culture, which, at least in our present case, are generally racial. And sure, you can point to a scattering of ethnically diverse congregations here and there, especially when you start factoring in megachurches that kind of have to cast the widest possible net. But by and large, churches remain segregated because, let's face it, they can't afford to change anything about themselves. You could not be more precariously poised on the knife's edge of reason. Every aspect of reality challenges their increasingly desperate worldview such that shifting even a little bit threatens to send the whole edifice tumbling over the side. I mean, the logical mesh of trusses and buttresses holding up religion are so complex and intricate at this point, it's hard to remember what's holding up what. And if the scaffolding of your worldview trembles every time you bump a guy line, how do you even think about trying to move the whole goddamn thing?